Hello guys, I'm your instructor Jesse Humphrey and today I'll be talking about image resizing and its importance keep watching. Guys, resizing images has various benefits but for today I'm going to show you four major benefits of resizing images. The first one is faster loading times. Large photos can significantly slow down the loading speed of web pages and emails. Resizing them to a small size makes them quicker to download and improves the user experience. This is especially important for websites viewed on mobile devices with slower internet connections. The second benefit is better social media presentation. Many social media platforms have specific size requirements for profile pictures and uploaded photos. Resizing your photos ensures they fit the designated space without distortion or appearing pixelated. The third benefit is improved storage efficiency. Original high resolution photos can consume a large amount of storage space on a device or cloud storage. Therefore, resizing them to a smaller size, particularly for everyday use, can significantly free up valuable storage. And lastly, email compatibility. Attaching large photos to emails can exceed recipient mailbox limitations and cause bouncing. Resizing photos before attaching them ensures they can be sent and received successfully. Today, I'm going to show you two major ways through which you can resize your photos. The first one is through Microsoft Paint and the second one is through a tool known as Fast Stone Photo Resizer or FS Resizer. Now let's take a look at the Microsoft Paint method. In this method, we'll be resizing a photo using a tool known as Microsoft Paint. But before that, we have to duplicate the photo that we'll be resizing. We do duplication for comparison purposes. Now the photo that we'll be resizing is right here. So just click on that, then hold the control button, press C, then V. There you have, you have the duplicate of the first photo. Now let's compare the two photos in terms of size and dimensions. Now the first photo has dimensions of 3000 by 4000 and the size is 2.69 MBs. But if we go to the duplicate, meaning that it's basically the same, the dimensions are 3000 by 4000 and the size is 2.69 MBs. Now let us go into resizing. If you want to resize, just go to the picture, right click on it, go to open with, then select paint. There we are, we are in paint right now. So the next thing you have to do is go to resize, select pixels, then for the horizontal, you have to write 1200. And for the vertical, it will automatically appear as 1600 because that's a standard dimension. Now you have to go and click OK. There we go. We have our photo resized. We can close that and save. Let us try to compare the two photos. The first one, which is the duplicate, has dimensions of 3000 by 4000 and the size is 2.69 MBs. Now, if we go and hover our cursor over the resized photo, we can see that the dimensions are 1200 by 1600 as we entered in paint and the size is only 791 KBs. But friends, if you have a very large number of photos that you need to resize and if you try to use the Microsoft Paint method, it will become very tedious and will obviously consume a very, very long time. In my situation, I have 100 items to resize. So using the Microsoft Paint method, it's not going to be applicable. We're going to be using the FS Resizer tool. Go and open it. Then select where your folder is. My folder is in the desktop, so I'm going to select that. Then here it is, downloaded images. So that's going to show all your photos or images that you want to resize. 
so you have to go and click on add all meaning that all this content is displayed here for your sizing the next thing you have to do is select your output folder my output folder is the resized images folder which is in the desktop so i just want to go to desktop then select resized images then select okay the next thing you have to do is select advanced options right here you're gonna click on that then the advanced options menu will appear now our standard size for our new photos is going to be 1200 pixels by 1600 pixels we can pick that in our standard size drop-up menu right here but if you check well we don't have 1200 by 1600 pixels as a standard size right here so what you have to do is write it manually on the new width right here and new height right here so after selecting your standard size you're going to click ok then click convert after clicking convert you're going to start seeing your images being resized here you can see the input file the output file the information the old size and the new size and right here you can see the total old size and the total new size right here is the time elapsed and right here is the time left for your photos to be resized now what we have to do is to wait for our photos to be resized Then, when it reaches 100% right here, you're gonna click Done. Then, let's just minimize this. But now, if we open the Downloaded Images folder, and hover the cursor over the first 5 photos, you can see that the dimensions are 3024 by 4032, and all of them are like that. But now, if you close the folder and go to the resized images folder, and let's try hovering the cursor over the first five photos as well, you can see that the dimensions have now reduced to 1200 by 1600, and all the photos are like that. Okay. If you want or you need to get the FS Resizer tool, you can use any search engine wherever you can go and download it from there. Thank you. Hello friends, this is the end of my presentation. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share my video. See you in my next videos.